Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite bewhiskered, huggable, social intercourser, Gardner. I don't know what that means and I don't know if I should be offended or not. <laughs> so if you're just joining us, uh, I actually just finished making a video for Linode's channel uh, where we set up VS Code uh, in the cloud. It's called Code Server. It's an open source project. It's really cool. Um, I'm actually a huge fan of VS Code and I know lots of people are gonna be like, oh, VS Code, that's Microsoft. Yeah, it is, I know. But at the same time, it is actually open source, not necessarily free software, but it's open source and um, it's a lot of fun. Here's the thing. I'm a web developer and VS Code is actually like uh, one of the best coding environments for HTML, J uh, JavaScript, and CSS. I personally love it. It's also really good for PHP, which I have to use for my job. So I use Code Server on my home lab here to not just code uh, on my main rig here, but I also use it to run on my seriously underpowered uh, Microsoft Surface book that is just not powerful enough to run Electron apps. Uh, but it got me thinking, you know, I have this, I have this consistent uh, in the cloud, more or less, uh, development environment across all my devices because I'm running it on my home lab. And I said, I wonder if that'll work on the Librem 5. And I've got a Librem 5 right here. Uh, so let's do it. <laughs> hey, so we're going to do this. We're going to run... We're going to see how it works on, uh, we're going to see how it works, I guess. I must have these cables crossed. Oh no, I got it. Why is this not coming up here? So I've got uh, my Librem 5 here and I'm running it on my 1080p monitors and it, it's so much more responsive in 1080p than it is in uh, 1440p or whatever I'm running at on the machine behind me here. Uh, so we're going to actually just turn off the built-in display. We're going to set the primary display to be this bad boy. And there you go. You can see I'm running Fosh here. I kind of would prefer if, um, these would kind of spread out rather than be centered like that, but that's okay. All right. So I'm running the Librem 5. Uh, let's open up Firefox and let's go into, uh, let's go into... Oh, uh, where's Firefox? It's not launching. Oh, oh, it's on this screen down here. I guess the screen didn't turn off. That's all right. So I've got my shell here and I've got uh, Firefox here. Let's do SSH gbryant at my home server. And then we're going to do dash capital L 8080 colon localhost colon 8080. And what this is going to do, uh, the dash L and then this is going to basically create a tunnel between uh, my local machine and the remote machine. And that, that tunnel is gonna be encrypted through SSH, uh, which is super convenient. Um, and it's gonna uh, port forward these uh, this port to that port on the remote machine. Um, so we're gonna hit enter. We'll type in my uh, password. All right, there we go. So we are set up now. So uh, we don't have to do anything else. We can just go back here and type in localhost 8080. And you can see that we actually have our uh, VS Code. It takes a second to load, but once it loads, we got VS Code, baby. You got a stew going. Baby, you got a stew going. Now, if we go to File, we go to Open Recent, we can actually click on uh, a project that I'm working on called Hello Story. If you haven't heard about it, check it out. It's a cool website. Lots of children's books. But yeah, this is just freaking awesome because I am just like one step closer to having a single device that works uh, for me. I can take it anywhere. I can do whatever I need to do on that device. Um, I am so stoked about this. And you can see like we have full syntax highlighting. This is basically the same thing as running desktop uh, VS code, except it's running in Firefox. Um, you know, you can, you can actually go in here. We can, let's add some comments. Uh, Here's some comments. There's a tiny bit of delay, but I'll chalk that up to Bluetooth and uh, and Wi-Fi latency. <laughs> because, I mean, seriously, I am like so beyond stoked. 
holy crap, guys, this makes me so happy. Um, we, I mean, uh, and the best part is, like, let's go up here. You can see here that we have a uh, uh, a breakpoint. I can go over here, uh, and let's let's make this window halfway. Let's create a new tab on this side, and let's go to uh, dev.hellostory.org. Uh, and we're going to listen for, so let's go to my development site and we're going to be listening for uh, Xdebug uh, on the current development machine that's behind me. And watch, you can do full PHP debugging on the Libra 5 through SSH. Holy Moses, this makes me so happy. You guys don't even know. Look at this. Uh, we can just click enter and go on and, uh, oh, we have a, we have a, a, a problem. That's fine. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep hopping through this, uh, debugging here. We don't, we don't need to listen anymore. We're done. Look at this. Look at this. My guys, we can make this full screen now. So can I, yeah, there we go. Refresh the page here. Boom. Oh, we got an error, but that's fine. Dude, this is freaking amazing. I know the performance isn't quite there yet, uh, but like that's a software optimization thing. I am so stoked about having the Librem 5 being able to be like part of my development workflow. Like how awesome is that? Also, people wanted to know if you can actually like use 4G. Yes, you absolutely can. I am on my uh, thing here. You can see here uh, that we do not have Wi-Fi enabled. And if I go here to, uh, uh, let's say, DuckDuckGo, boom, DuckDuckGo, boom. All right, well, guys, thank you so much for watching. I am so excited about the Librem 5. I uh, can't believe how well that actually works uh, to actually use a code server, my, my default regular uh, coding environment. It works on the Librem 5 in desktop mode. Uh, it, it, keep in mind that if you're not outputting over uh, HDMI, then uh, it's not gonna work for you. If you're just using that little screen, you're not gonna be able to do it. Uh, it's, it's, it, it's not optimized for mobile by any stretch. Um, so you're gonna have to use the Librem 5 in dock mode. But it's so cool. It's so cool, guys. And like I said at the beginning of this video, I just did a video on Linode. It went up at the same time this video did. And if you haven't seen it, make sure you go over and subscribe to uh, Linode's YouTube channel because uh, we're doing some awesome, cool stuff over there. And uh, I actually show how you, you can actually set up this your own cloud instance of VS Code or, or Code Server, I should say. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, I very much appreciate you guys being here. I want to thank my patrons, without whom I would not be able to do this. Thank you to all the people who believe in the channel and who contribute monthly to what I do here. Uh, thank you guys. It means the world to me. If you believe in the work that I do, you can help support the show on Patreon uh, with a monthly contribution. You can also become a channel member on YouTube. Uh, but no matter what you do, thank you for watching.